In this session, we're going to look at net present values. Now, net present value is a technique that applies our discounting to establish whether or not a particular investment is viable. When we look at net present values, what we want to see is, are the future cash inflows greater than the initial cash outflow, taking into account the time value of money? So the net present value of an investment is equal to the sum of the net present values of the cash flows. Now, the easiest way to become familiar with net present values is to look at an exercise. So let's do just that. We're told then a company is evaluating a project that has the following cash flows. It will purchase a machine on the 1st of January 2011. So we'll take that to be the present time, T0, for $50,000 and we'll receive net cash flows each year from the trading activity as follows. So the year ended 31st of December for 2011 through to 2014. So the first thing we're going to do then is plot this on a little timeline so that we know exactly what's going on. So we have T0, the present moment in time. We're told we're going to spend, so we'll have a cash outflow of 50,000. At the end of one year, so T1, we're going to have a cash inflow of 20,000. At the end of another year, so T2, we're going to have a cash inflow of 10,000. The end of another year, T3, we'll have a cash inflow of 20,000. And at the end of another year, this brings us to 2014, the end of the year, T4, we'll have a cash inflow of 15,000. Now, what we need to do is look at these future cash inflows. $20,000 received one year from now is not the same as getting $20,000 now. So we're going to have to use our discounting technique to discount all of these future cash flows back to their present value in today's terms. Now in any net present value question, the most efficient way of doing it is to set up a little table for yourself. So we want to look at, for each year, starting with the present, so we say year zero, what I mean is today, um, and subsequent years. We want to look at the cash flow, calculate our discount factor, or just lift it off the present value tables, and then calculate the present value of that cash flow. Now, we've been told in the question that the company can borrow money at 10%. So our discount rate is 10%. Okay, so let's fill in our table. <coughs> First of all, right now, what is our cash flow going to be? That will be our initial cash outflow of 50,000. What is the discount factor for $50,000 paid out now? If it's paid out now, we don't have to discount or consider the time value of money because it's not a cash flow at some point in the future. The discount factor for time period zero, so the present time, will be one. Therefore, the present value of that 50,000 cash outflow is just the value of the outflow multiplied by the discount factor. 
Okay, so in one year's time, we're going to have a cash inflow of 20,000. Now we need to consider the discount factor. We know that our discount rate, R, is 10%. What's our number of time periods? What's our value for N? Well, if it's one year from now, surely the value for N is 1. So remember, we don't have to calculate the discount factor. We just need to look at the present value tables that will be given to you in the exam. So if we look at our present value tables and cross-reference, our discount rate is 10%. The number of time periods is 1. So the discount factor then for one year at 10% is 0 0.909. Plugging that into our table, 0 0.909, which means the present value of $20,000 received in one year's time, 20,000 multiplied by 0 0.909, hope you've got your calculators out, you should get 18,180. Let's keep going. In two years' time, what is our cash flow going to be? Well, we saw when we did our timeline, in two years' time, we'll have a cash inflow of $10,000. So if we add that in, we've got $10,000. Now we need to check our discount factor. Let's go back to our tables. Our discount rate is still 10%, except now the number of time periods is 2. So N will be equal to 2, which means our discount factor in the 10% column is 0 0.826. Plugging that into our table, the present value then of $10,000 received in two years' time is 8,260. Very same again for year three. What is our cash flow? Check your timeline. In three years' time, we're going to receive $20,000. Looking at our tables again, the discount factor in three years' time with a rate of 10%, is 0 0.751. So we multiply the 20,000 receivable in three years' time by our discount factor of 0 0.751, and you should get 15,020. Finally then, for year four, we're going to receive $15,000. If you look at your tables now and check, what is the discount factor for N is equal to 4 with a discount rate of 10%? You should get 0 0.683, which means the present value of that cash flow is $10,245. So now we have made all of our cash flows comparable. We have discounted them all back to their present value. So to find the net present value of this project, we just sum together all of those cash flows. So we have minus 50,000 to begin with, plus the net present value of each of our future cash inflows, and you should get 1,705. Now, when we are using this net present value technique to evaluate an investment, if the NPV is positive, then the investment can be accepted. So a positive NPV would indicate accept the project. Because overall, the cash inflows are greater than the cash outflows. So it follows then, if we have a negative MPV, 
we would reject the project. If there is a negative net present value, it means we're not earning sufficient cash inflows to cover the initial cost of the investment.